Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. Today's video I will show you how to boot in safe mode, how to boot Windows 10 specifically in safe mode. And I was thinking about this because I have an article on my website about top 10 uh, you know, PC issues and I also have a video on this. And if you're interested in reading this article, there will be a link in the description box below. But a lot of issues kind of mention viruses and how to get rid of viruses. Well, one of the steps to get rid of viruses um, is to boot into safe mode. This is why this uh, idea for this video came up. And it's it used to be a lot simpler, simpler and you know straightforward to boot uh, to safe mode in you know previous Windows versions like 7 or XP. Uh, but uh, in Windows 10 it's a bit more difficult. So I went ahead and actually used my cell phone to record the screen off my laptop so that you guys can see what I'm doing because the only way for me to actually record the screen and what's going on after I reboot is by using an external camera and uh, although I do have a professional camera I went ahead and decided to use my cell phone because it was just more convenient the way I could the, the way I was able to position it so without uh, any further uh, delay let's have a look on how to reboot in safe mode uh, using Windows 10 so there are a couple of ways of getting to the safe boot window uh, this is a long way and I will also tell you what the shorter way is but I want to show the long way so you guys can get familiarized a little bit better um, if you click the start button and then select settings which will be on the left hand side little cog uh, looking icon if you select settings on this window uh, we have to scroll down and look for an option or a box that's called update and security once we select that the next window will um, have an option on the left hand side called recovery so it looks like it will be a fifth one down fifth icon on the left left hand side down called recovery now on the right hand side you will see an option that says advanced startup um, this will let us basically get to the uh, window that will let us pick the startup options. So simply you just select the restart now button, this, which will get us to this window. Alternatively, it's shift and then restart will get us to the same window. Uh, on, on this window, we have to select troubleshooting, which is the third one down on the left hand side. Select troubleshooting. And here we have to select the second option, which is called the advanced options. Once we select that, it will get us to a bunch of more other options. And the one we want is actually the last one on the right hand side on the bottom called startup settings. So once we select that, it will finally uh, get us closer to our uh, to what we need, which is the reboot in safe mode. But you can see here uh, when we do this, it will allow us to, um, you know, basically get to what the safe mode is, right? So it will be one of the options that we will have, which is exactly what we want. And another reason why I'm making this video is because there are so many steps, which is incredibly unnecessary, but it is what it is, right? Uh, then we're going to select uh, restart here. And once we do restart here, actually, you cannot use your mouse. So in order to um, go past this window, we have to select safe mode, which is number four. You can see there it's number four. So we're going to select four and now I've rebooted into safe mode, right? I'm going to now log in, put my uh, password in and I will show you that this is actually a, a safe mode. Indeed, I will move my camera a little bit here uh, later because I know it's not covering an entire thing. Um, so now if you are basically you know, using safe mode to remove viruses or whatnot, you can certainly do so. Another thing you can do is actually uninstall antivirus software because I remember you can't remove antivirus software unless it's in a safe mode. So we simply right click the start menu and go to the very first thing where it's called apps and features, right? We're gonna wanna want to get to the part where we can uninstall our, uh, which is what I'm actually going to do, uninstall antivirus, right? Of course, Again, this is one way to actually install antivirus software and ran a diagnostic to look for anti for uh, for viruses, right? So in my case, I'm using ImmuNet, which I will be reinstalling after this uh, which I'll be reinstalling after this uh, demonstration. But you can see now that it does actually let you uninstall it. Should be the case uh, with the, any other 
uh, antivirus software that you are trying to remove. Let's say you have one that expired. And uh, so you can see now that it's actually indeed safe mode that we are running. So, you know, if you have old antivirus that you, you know, simply expired and you want to use something that's free like like this one, I'm certainly not promoting or anything like that. I just, just happen to be uh, something that I'm using, you know. And uh, uh, this is how you would remove it in a safe mode. It will let you certainly uh, do so. And uh, after you do this, you will restart again and it will get you back to the normal Windows operation. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Check out the link in the description box below. Check out my other uh, videos. Like, share, subscribe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.